Welcome to another episode of Capping with Kev Mac. Today, I'm going to talk about Shiloh Sanders. Yeah, it's just, we just got to get good matching those uh, underneath routes, and uh, that's what we worked on today, and everything should be fixed. It's just like, you know, the, the best teams make the best adjustments week to week, like how we made adjustments from TCU to Nebraska, you know, for the run game, playing against a 90% run team. Um, we're, we're real good at making adjustments because we got the best coaching staff in the country, so that's, that's nothing to worry about. If you see us make some mistakes in a game, then, you know, the coaches are going to get on our tails about it and we're going to have it fixed. So this video is really a response video to a comment in the comment section and to cover my own blanket statements about Shiloh being a good defensive back, which he played DB in high school and also at South Carolina. He went to Jackson State to play for his dad, where he's now a free safety and a strong safety. And the reason why I thought he played defensive back is not because he actually played defensive back, but because I see in some schemes he's actually sticking a wide receiver. You've got to make smart decisions to get the ball to your playmaker. They moved the ball back to the 22. They ruled it a sack. Picked off. Real estate ahead. Shiloh Sanders. Showing him his shoe bottoms. Stunting like his daddy. Touchdown. I, I'm going to stick to my guns and emphasize he, he he's a lockdown safety, although I said defensive back. And he hits hard. And I don't think anybody's disputing how hard he hits. You know, he, he tackles like his father. He doesn't use hands. <laughs> He uses his body, but he's much stronger than his dad and much more successful in making these tackles. So we're going to get into that in one moment. The world is yours. The world is yours. The world is yours. If you remember, Jackson State University was giving up 40 points a game, and Shiloh plays safety. He's at Colorado, and every team they played put up 40-plus. Shiloh ain't that good, Kev. They only gave up 41 points once, and that was against North Carolina Central the last game of the season in the bowl game. His second year, the most they gave up was 31 against South Carolina State. Once again, last game of the season in a bowl game. In his first year, Jackson State allowed 21 points per game. And in the second year, they gave up 18 points a game. As far as his official scouting report, they have Shiloh listed at running a 4.58. Shiloh is actually the Pac-12 Defensive player of the week last week. Just get the ball to your playmaker. They moved the ball back to the 22. They ruled it a sack. Picked off. Real estate ahead. Shiloh Sanders showing him his shoe bottoms. Stunt like his daddy. So he can't be that bad. And his 4.58 speed in the 40. I don't know if there was some tweaking going on or, or what, or Dion trying to get his son to that next level a lot quicker. 
meaning higher up in the draft or what, but they actually have him saying that he ran a 4.3, him and his brother. So he might be a little putting a 10 on a 2 right there. Uh, we don't know because I haven't seen the film. I look for it, but ac haven't actually seen the actual film. But we got to stop just throwing numbers out there to make our arguments look better and the numbers be fake. Like, you you just can't do that. That's not fair. It's not fair to Shiloh. It's not fair to me. And it's not fair to any other viewers that's watching these videos. I said in my live, and I'll say it again, if we're on Deion Sanders' nuts, if we're pulling for him because he's a black coach, if we're on Colorado State Buffalo's bandwagon, if we're on Shadour Sanders' nuts, why can't we pump up Shiloh? I think the media, I think Deion Sanders, and I think the fans are not giving Shiloh his respects. Shiloh should be damn near mentioned all the time when we talk about the defensive players in college football right now, and even when we talk about Shadour. When we talk about these collegiate athletes getting money, Shiloh should be one of the ones getting money. Shiloh makes number 21 look good. Shiloh is actually nicknamed Little Primetime, Young Primetime. So he, he's following in his daddy's footsteps well. I mean, Dion was the shit at Florida State. Let's not get it twisted. But his son is doing pretty good. And we can't take that from him. So don't take that from him. Let's give Shiloh his props and see where he ends up in the NFL draft. Hey, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Much love, you guys. We got to get 250 more subscribers. Please hit the like button. Please leave a comment and uh, so we could get these analytics and algorithms up. And I need 1,500 more watch hours. So please share this video with your friends. Share this video with anybody you think is a Shiloh hater or a Shiloh fan. I'm out of here, y'all. Salute. And that's gonna do it for this episode. Can't let me show up like this. Leave a comment. If you need to channel, please subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Also, we'll be putting up more videos on some of the favorite players and continue to give out all these videos for picks, including some comments. Spider, 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 Spider,